All right, this is this is wonderful Pennsylvania weather here. See the snow on the ground, nice and freezing. So what I want you guys to see that for, so you understand what I'm about to do. Uh, Jared's been telling me when I get pretty sore, uh, lactic acid starts building up. He wants me to get in the shower on completely cold, cold. Now, not just not just lukewarm, cold. I'm gonna show you how cold. Don't know if you guys understand how this works. I want it on hot. I come up here in this red area. See, it's got this got this H. Stands for hot. And over here, we got we got we got cold. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be like right here. And this little hose is for a for a handicap shower. I got like a I got like a like a bench and everything. I don't I don't ever sit down, but I got it I got it if I want to. So I'm gonna come back step back here. So I'm gonna get I'm gonna get my camera wet. So let's just check this out. Yeah, yeah. See, she's cold, cold. We're we're running there. That's that's cold. Like it feels cold from here. And um, I was told I make make pretty funny noises. So you guys, are, you guys can come with me for this. No nudie shots though. There we go. Oh boy. Oh boy. Ah, jeez. All right. I'm supposed to go. Let's go for a minute. See how long he still are he'll last. Oh god. Ah, that's, that's stupid. That's stupid. Why does that work? Oh. oh. Okay, uh, um, you know, I know that wasn't a minute. Oh, I'm such a wuss. It's uh, beginning of week two. The road to the Arnold Classic just finished my uh, my workout for today. Today's Sunday. Uh, Jared Gordon again, my personal trainer, ACE certified, right? ACE. Mm -hmm. um, kicking my ass again. Uh, what did we do today, and why did we do what we did? Well, today was not quite as dynamic as last week. Last week involved a lot of uh, isometric movements, um, some explosive movements with the medicine ball. But due to our limited facilities, we have to make the best of what we can. So today was more focused on strength. Um, a lot of it is pulling motion, uh, using lat pull downs, um, doing a lot of pull ups until uh, reaching a failure point. Turn down the room, building your walls. The bridge is on fire, all the enemies saw. The flames that consume the rest of your life. Rest of your life
<laughs> At the end, I'd like to sum it up with a pretty grueling ab workout. Um, I'm sure you'll see later how tough it is, and I'm sure Marshall can attest to uh, its, uh, its challenge. So with that ab workout, why are we going from position one, position two, back to position two, up to position three? What, what's, the, what's the mindset there? Well, your abs function at every different level, so we're trying to look at challenging them and getting them activated at different points. Obviously in your guard, whether you're on your back, flat, slightly off the ground, maybe you're up reaching to try to pull your opponent in, or you're sitting up the hole and maybe going for a sweep. That's the type of movement we want to simulate with those. What kind of stuff are we doing the rest of the week? Well, the rest of the week, like I said, is going to be focused more on explosive movements as opposed to uh, the slow, um, more methodical movements that we do here in the gym. Um, lots of medicine ball work, uh, a lot of uh, just body weight movements, but things that keep his heart rate up and keep his uh, body moving. All right, uh, got to jiu-jitsu tomorrow. We'll keep, we'll keep trucking. So I teach uh, two privates a week. Um, normally it's Jared and Drew here with me. Uh, Jared's my personal trainer. Drew helps me on camera a lot. He's uh, Drew's been training with me for about two, two and a half years now. Jared just about the same. So what we're doing is with the, in these privates, we're focusing on the guard. And my philosophy here is to have a good guard, you got to be comfortable opening the guard, which means you've got to be comfortable trying to retain it when somebody's trying to pass. It's really easy to hang on to a closed guard, but eventually when you pass, passion, I'll work into attack or into sweep. So we do a lot of guard retention drills. And another thing we do is we work a lot on getting the half guard. You start losing the full guard, you're comfortable, go back to half, work in the lockdown, work a lot of the uh, Eddie Bravo stuff. A little bit of my own um, flavor mixed in there. So the philosophy there is you open your guard, you're all right, you get half guard, work back to full guard, work your sweeps. The primary what we do in this private is a lot of repetition on basic hip movement. Hip movement is essential, so we're going to keep drilling it, drilling it, drilling it, drilling it. These guys uh, have the hips of gods. Red and blue, the rock sits down. Red and blue, the rock sits down. Red and blue, the rock sits down. Waterfalls, rain pours down. Gets wet, black and white. The rock gets wet, black and white. The rock gets wet through the night. The colors all set. Down the road we all get fit. Yeah. Down the road we all get fit. Yeah. Down the road we all get fit. Put your head down. It's time for. Do as soon as you realize the night is through, yeah. I wake up to you. So the way we're doing this drill is every time Jared, the guy on the bottom here, starts losing his half guard, he's going to reclaim it. So we start looking at a bunch of different positions. He gets the guard open, stakes out, goes back to half guard. Um, guy starts passing him out, steps over, shrimps it back into half guard, back to side control. He steps over the leg, drags back to half guard. This way he's always working to reclaim that position.